Welcome back to your lovely world, this is your number one bad Asian coming to you today with a very special video. I will be providing you the best young, cheap prospects, high potential players to go ahead and sign for your career modes in FIFA 18. Get hype, bookmark this page, tell a friend, subscribe if you are new for more, you know, FIFA 18 content. And let's go ahead, let's get it started. I'm going to show you all of these players. Uh, right at the start of career mode so you can see how much they're worth, you know And I gave you a little bit of something for everyone if you're with the bigger team You can sign these kind of higher-end players with higher-end potentials And then I got a kind of mid-tier people like around 5 million and then I got bargain basement around 1 million or less for you Road to glory people then after I go ahead and showcase you all of these young players I'm gonna sim ahead about five to six years and then you can see them fully developed fully grown And then you can kind of make an educated decision on whether they're worth picking up or not now the thought of you going ahead and signing one of these $1 million players and then having them grow into a 90-ish potential player goes ahead and gets your nipple hard and then go ahead and smoosh it into that like button right now. Because honestly, this took a lot of time. You don't know, well yes, a huge knock on EA, but it takes forever to go ahead and sim uh, four or five years this year. And I only have 10 hours of uh, early access, so I sacrificed about six of those to bring you this video. So please go ahead, leave a like. All right, let's begin with a very familiar name if you played career mode last year, and that is Albin Lafont. He goes ahead and he plays in the French League, uh, 18 years of age, and is worth 10 million, more of the expensive range. I think he has a potential of like 89, 90-ish. Uh, we're gonna keep on moving on. We're gonna go very quickly uh, on their initial prices and whatnot, and then we'll go more into depth of what they look like when they're fully, you know, formed and whatnot. Uh, Muller, I believe he plays for Mines, and this is the bargain basement that I was talking about. Uh, 575,000. Yes, very, very cheap, although he's very low rated, 63 overall, but I think he has like a high end potential of like 85 ish. And then you have Fructal, or however you say his name, I believe he plays for either, uh, I think he plays for Bayern Munich, and he's worth a little bit under 1 million, 17 years of age, and he's at 65, has around the same potential as Bula over here. And then once again, a name that you're probably familiar with from FIFA 16, and that is Drakowski. Uh, he's kind of the mid-range guy. He's worth 3.7 million, and he's 71 overall, age of 19. Moving on to right backs, and this is Trent Alexander-Arnold. I believe he plays for Liverpool. He's 1.7 million, and he's quite quick. Uh, six stars at a 69 overall, age 18. Then you got Henriks, another one of these Germans. Uh, very, very nice. More of the expensive range. I think he's the most expensive one that you could find out of the fullbacks over here. 9.5 million. Uh, starts at a 76. Uh, Wiser is very, very expensive as well at 11 million. Um, and he's going to start at a 78. So he's the most expensive. Moving on to center backs, we have a pretty cheap option. 1.5 million for Cameron Carter Victors, ex Spurs man. I think he recently transferred over or he's on loan currently. So you might have to wait a little bit to go ahead and find him. Next up is. Upa Makano over here, a uh, French center back, can also play a little bit at the CDM. He's 1.7 uh, and starts out at a 69. Then you have Issa Diop, he was a pretty popular center back from last year's career mode community. Uh, he returns again, very nice potential. 76 overall and he's worth 10.5 million, so more of the expensive range. Uh, the top young center back, cheap young center back to buy this year is definitely this man from Ajax, Matthias De Ligt, and he is Phenomenal, both in real life and in the game. 10 million, so he is more expensive as well, and starts out at a 76. Then you have Malang Sar, 9.5 million, starts out at a uh, 75 overall, and then you got Kimbempe, uh, he is 77 overall and 10 and a half million. All right, let's move on to left back. First up is Sirachi, starts at a 70 overall, and he is three and a half million. I believe his potential is around like 85-ish, but if you want a more offensive type player, go ahead and go in for this fullback. Uh, next up is Ryan Sessignon. I think he's been making a lot of hype in the English leagues. Um, he starts out at a 67 overall, 1.2 million in the value, and I, a lot of people are kind of whispering about that he could be the next Gareth Bale. And then last left back here is Antonio Barreca. I believe he plays for Torino, 8.5 million, and I think he has the highest potential out of anyone on this list right here. Starts out at a 75. Moving on to CDM, first off, is Alpha Semedo. Doesn't have the highest potential. I'll say that he's probably kind of in the mid 80s, uh, 19 years old, 70 overall, and he's relatively cheap, uh, 
2.4 million. The big thing that I like about him, if we can go over, is he's six foot three at CDM. So if you want a big, strong, tall guy who's winning all the headers in that midfield, then this is your man that you're gonna be gunning for. Uh, Amadou Diawara uh, is worth 10.5 million. Starts out at a 77 overall. Kangai in Dombele has also had a 72. And then you have Tussar, who I believe has the highest potential out of anyone here. I think it's around like 89, 88. And uh, I believe he plays for Leon and is worth 12.5 million. So he is quite expensive. All right, we're moving on to the right mids and we're going dirt cheap right away. And we're going with Marcus Edwards. And it's worth 1.1 million. But I think his top end potential is damn near 90. So. This is one of the best bargains that you can go ahead and grab in career mode. Uh, speaking of great bargains, there's Kai Havertz. I believe he plays for Leverkusen, don't quote me on that, but he's 73 overall. He's worth 7 million this year, quite a big bump from what he was last year. Not the biggest player, but and not the fastest player, but very, very technically gifted. And a little bit of a homer pick because I am American, but Christian Pulisic, 78 overall already, 14.5 million. As I said, very, very uh, expensive, but I believe he has the potential of around 80. 89 and he can play all across any wing position that you want left or right uh, now we're on to the center mid prospects if you want a mini Pogba type this is your man right here Seko Fofana uh, is from the Ivory Coast and he's worth 10 million next up is Jacob Yentko if I'm pr uh, pronouncing that right CM and here's the interesting thing is left mid he's 76 overall it's worth 10 and a half million which is also pretty darn expensive but it's that left mid that I'm showing you right now because his pace gets up there with some of the fastest players in the league. So if you want a super fast center mid in your team, uh, it's going to cost you a little bit, but that's your man. Uh, hopefully the next great product from the La Masse Academy over at Barcelona is Carles Elena, uh, 71 overall. And he's in kind of in the mid range right here. He's 4.4 million and he is your typical kind of in mini Iniesta type, you know, very technically gifted, very good with the short passing and the long passing and vision and whatnot. This is the only player that is going to be um, 80 or higher in this video, but it's Yori Tiela's Uh You probably already heard of him. Recently made a transfer over to Monaco, so you have to wait at least till halfway through the season to go ahead and pick him up. Reason why I'm putting him on, his potential is 90. <laughs> yeah. Moving on to left mid. We're gonna start out with this man hand, Ismayala Sar. And as you can see, he can play left mid, right mid, and striker, 19 years of age. Starts at a 73 overall, and it's worth six million. And the final left man that I'm gonna be showing you is maybe the fastest player, the paciest player that you can go ahead and grab on this list, and that is Leon Bailey, the Jamaican over here. 10 and a half million, so he is expensive. He starts out at 76 overall. Uh, let's move on to Cams. Kovalenko is a very familiar name from last season. He was pretty much the best young cheap career mode buy you could get at camp and he's pretty much the same thing i think he has the highest potential out of all these camps he also is one of the more expensive players that you can go ahead and grab right here at 10 and a half million uh moving on is four nulls over here 12 million oh i'm sorry he is the most expensive over here uh the big thing that i included in him is for that price you get a lot of versatility because look at all the positions he can play. He can play camp, center mid, CDM, and a little bit of left mid. He starts out at 77, so one of the higher rated players on this list. And uh, another can that we're going to talk about is Marco Rog over here. I mostly put him for his name because his name is pretty awesome. Uh, 11 million, so once again, these cams are pretty damn spicy. All right, and if you're looking for a winger, he's versatile. He can play both sides, and he has the pedigree. And that is Justin Clivert over here. Starts at a 73, plays over at IX, and he's 6.5 million. On to the sexiest position of all, and that is the strikers. First off is a speed merchant, and I don't know how to pronounce his name. A math in day day heal. As good as it's gonna get. And he's worth about 9.5 million. Starts at a 74. Very, very fast, very, very quick. Next up is Lotaro Martinez, who was a darling last season. Six million. Uh, he's Argentinian, I believe he plays in Argentina, 72 overall, and he has a monstrous potential of, I believe, around, like, 89, 88-ish. Then, uh, another kid from Ajax, there's a couple of them on here, I think three of them, Casper Dolberg, uh, is one of the more expensive players on this list, 14.5 million. Starts out at a 78 overall, but he's kind of a do-it-all striker, not quite the quickest, um, but quite strong. And then probably my biggest surprise here 
One of the best young cheap strikers you can find in the game is North Korean Han Kwok Song over here. Starts at a 67 overall value of 1.4 million. So he's one of the bargain bid kids, 18 years of age. And if you go ahead and you take a look at his attributes, he's rather quite pacey. They, they say that's like probably his biggest thing is his acceleration. So I'm gonna nickname him Rocket Man. And the other thing that's going for him, five star weak foot, much like Hung Min Sun. It's just something in the water with these Koreans. They're just really good with their off foot. Next up is a bit of Forgotten Man uh, because he missed, sadly, most of the last season with a knee injury, and that is Donald Briel Mbolo. He's worth 12 and a half million, but he's one of those uh, absolute beast hybrids. He's pacey, he's strong, and he's got good dribbling as well, and he can finish. He could do it all. If you want that type of dude, why not go ahead and grab him? Probably the most well-rounded striker out of this bunch. And then one more bargain bin winger over here, and that is Jaden Sancho over here. And what's interesting about him is he plays for Borussia Dortmund, but he's English. That is, I don't know, to me, that's just a very strange combo. I've never seen that before. But very, very cheap. He's only worth 700000 And now that we've gone over their initial prices, uh, we're going to go ahead, sim forward about five to six seasons, and then we'll show you them at their peaks, or at least near their peaks. So let's go ahead, take it away. Time was up. All right, so we're gonna have to do something a little bit awkward because EA really, really messed up on this like squad hub thing. Because as you can see, uh, Drakowski over here got up to an 84, very nice for him. But if you go over to attributes, you you can't see goalkeeping attributes. I I don't know why this is this happened, but it's here. So in order for you to go ahead and check your goalkeeper's attributes. You have to go all the way over, back into uh, just when you're taking a look at your squad, and then you have to go down and manually check it, press it in. So we're going to look at Fructal first, got up to an 81 over here. Ah, they're okay. Also, uh, I think it's good to note that, you know, obviously not all keepers were going to get enough play time. Muller was, I think, probably the cheapest out of everyone that we got, and his stats, you know, honestly weren't all that impressive. Uh, but if we go over to Joukowsky, he got up to an 84. And we go ahead and we take a look at his stats. A little bit more impressive, as you can see right here. 88 goal positioning, 86 reflexes, uh, 79 in the diving, and 73 in the handling. And then the big boy, LaFont, got up to an 88. I think that's around or damn near his potential. And look at those stats. 91 diving, 87 handling, 96 goal kicking. 85 positioning and 87 reflexes. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna bother showing you stuff in the stat hub because it's dumb. You can't see stats like uh, any of the goalkeeping keep stats. You can't see, you can't see strength. It's, it's fucked. <laughs> I will be honest. I don't know what EA was thinking this year, but they totally fucked that. It's a, it's a giant pain in the ass. I hate it. So we're just gonna go right here while we're in the squad. I'm gonna show you what they are. You can, so we'll start off with the North Korean because glorious leader would be Pretty upset if I didn't. As you can see, pretty darn quick. 99 acceleration, uh, you know, dark greens in agility, sprint speed. Strength is also not all too bad at 68. Uh, finishing is at 83. Good long shots, good short passing as well, so it can be turned into a creator. And the biggest draw of him is his five star weak foot, high medium work rates and he's 5'11", so he can actually do a little bit of everything uh, if that's what you're looking for. Next up is the Huey. I'm probably mispronouncing that. Got up to an 86. He's 5'8". He's got 4-star, four 4-star. Four very, very nice. High, high work rates, though. Can kind of ruin a player. Uh, he's got a, not, a lot of specialities and traits. Uh, but the big thing about him, 99 sprint speed. <laughs> yeah, if you want a pace merchant, this is a man. Also, 99 acceleration. Amazing agility. Decent balance jumping. Even his strength is pretty good at 74. And then you get into the skill attributes. Uh, 87 in ball control. 97 in the dribbling. 85 finishing. Uh, really good long shots too, 93 and 83 shot power. Casper Dolberg got up to an 88. He's six foot two, uh, four star weak foot, only three star skill moves. And as you can see, he has all the specialities. He has all the traits, all right? Um, wow, 95 sprint speed, 81 acceleration, 93 strength. Very, very nice. And even his agility is decent at 80. Good reactions as well. 
Uh, if we go over, take a look at his finishing, 86 dribbling, 89, 91 ball control, 97 long shots, and 93 shot power. And next up is Donald Brio Mbolo, got up to an 88 as well. He's six foot one, four star weak foot, and three star skill moves can also play a little bit on the right wing. Medium medium work rates. Uh, if we go over, Speedster Dribbler, Strength, Finesse Shot, Flare, and Technical Dribbler, 99 Sprint Speed, um, 89 Acceleration, 84 Agility, and he's got 99 Strength. Oh my god, that is disgusting. Not the highest finishing though, and uh, also the caveat is I did not train these guys at all, so you can definitely go ahead and train them a little bit higher on that. But 95 Ball Control, 94 Dribbling, he's got good heading accuracy, good short passing, good shot power. Yeah, he's uh, one of those guys I said that like he can pretty much do it all. Last of the young strikers is Martinez, who got up to an 86. As you can see, he's one of the shorter guys. He's 5'9", can play striker, cam, and right mid. Only three-star skill, um, only three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. He's got high medium work rates, but for what? He's 5'9", and he is aerial threat. How did that happen? And he's a target forward. All right. Um, okay, that is why, because he's got 95 strength. 89 sprint speed, 85 jumping, all right, I see you, I see you, with 89 acceleration. As for finishing, it's up to an 89, 86 in dribbling, uh, pretty good in ball control, pretty good in long shots and shot power as well. Next, let's take a look at the left wing, and the first boy up is Sancho over here. Uh, he got up to an 80, and I believe this is the kid who was over at Borussia Dortmund. He's got four star skill moves, five foot ten, can play left wing, right wing, medium work rate, speedster, dribbler, acrobat are his stats, and he's got 92 sprint speed, 89 acceleration, 99 agility. Ooh, that is gonna be massive with 80 bounce to go ahead and uh, complement his 90 ball control, 97 dribbling, 80 finishing, 81 long shots, and 87 short pass. Next left mid that we saw is Sar, who got up to an 83. Uh, if you want to take a look at his stats, 99 sprint speed, 99 acceleration. All right, part of the 99 pace club over here, 83 um, in the agility as well as decent stamina. Pretty good ball control, excellent dribbling in the 90s, and 81 finishing. So there's a bunch of these wingers who can actually finish. Decent uh, long pass, decent short pass. Uh, let's see, he's 5'11", left mid, right mid, can play striker. Only three star skill moves and two star weak foot though, but excellent work rates, high level. Leon Bailey got up to an 86, unfortunately got hurt as well, but let's go ahead and take a look at the Jamaican. He's got four star skill moves, four star weak foot, high medium work rates, is left footed, and is 5'11". Uh, he's got speedster, acrobat, uh, dribbler, flare, long shot taker, and technical dribbler. If we take a look, oh, he didn't make 99 club. He's only got 96 acceleration. Interesting. 92 agility though, good jumping, good stamina, decent strength, and oh, that is a lot of dark green there. 92 in the dribbling, good crossing, ball control, finishing, long passing, long shots, 90 short passing, and 84 shot power. And last on the list, but definitely not least, is Barco. I think he started out at 6 million and now at 87. Look at these stats. 96 in ball control, 96 in dribbling, 95 finishing. That's the highest finishing out of anyone on here. 96 short passing, 91 sprint speed, 84 stamina. Very, very weak though. His strength is only at 33. Good balance, 90 in agility, acceleration, decent vision. Um, and he's got speedster, dribbler, acrobat, finesse shot, and technical dribbler. Five foot six, so he is a tricky little bugger, and can also play a little bit at center mid. Uh, four star skill moves, minimum work rates, three star weak foot. Very very interesting player to say the least. Next up is Bereka. I believe he was from Torino. Got up to an 85. Sun speed of 94 with an acceleration of 90. Excellent stamina to boot. Uh, whoa, 91 crossing. Very, very nice with 81 dribbling. And we take a look. His marking's at 80. His slide tackle is at 84. And his stand tackle is at 86. 5 foot 11, so he's not all that short. Has a speedster speciality. Sirachi got up to an 82. And he has no specialities. He's 5 foot 11, 3 star, 3 star from Uruguay. Uh, but here's the big thing about him. Wow, 99 heading accuracy, 93 short passing, 81 pens. He's got decent slide tackle, good stand tackle, but the big thing that stands out about him is right there. He's got pretty good long shots and excellent finishing. So if you want, this is how I kind of pitched him. He's the best cheap offensive fullback that you can get in the game. Also, not all too slow either. 82 uh, pace with 
84 spin speed along with 90 stamina so you can run for days all right and we were missing one player he actually got sold it wasn't out it was out of my control uh but ryan session fortunately only got up to his 79 over here and should take a look at his stats he's pretty darn pacey but remember he was one of the uh lower overall players that you could grab early on pretty nice in the finishing as well good short passing a uh, decent stand tackle and whatnot at the other fullback position we have trent alexander arnold and he is a blazer 97 strength speed 90 acceleration 90 stamina uh, pretty good heading accuracy ball control and crossing as well 95 short passing very interesting a2 stand tackle and meh in the slide tackle and pretty good in the mark next up is wiser he's at an 85 and as you can see right here wow that's a lot of 90s in ball control heading accuracy short passing slide tackles okay stand tackle he's actually not all that great uh defensively um and as you can see right here pretty well rounded any physical mental stats good composure vision acceleration agility reaction sprint speed and stamina dribbler acrobat technical dribble 5-9 four star weak foot four star skill moves and can play a little bit at the right once again one of our players got sold and that was benjamin Henricks. as you can see he got up to an 86 overall it's worth 34 million and he's pretty good at the passing and defending nice sprint speed nice acceleration if we go into it uh good crossing ball control dribbling um stand tackles pretty nice as for the center backs they didn't grow all too well honestly um let's look at up um Makano over here 79 overall but look at that 94 sprint speed 88 strength take a look at slide tackle 87 um for both slide tackle and stand tackle six for one can play a little bit of the cdm let's go to camera card victor's only got it to a 78 he's six foot tall uh but he's got the strength speciality very nice very very pacey as you can see 89 and 88 strength 91 jumping we'll take a look at his slide tackles Eh, he's okay defensively to be on a little bit more impressive is Kimbepe uh, got up to an 85 he's also six foot tall he's got the tackling trait right there good interceptions good jumping good sprint speed 91 sprint speed 85 um in the strength excellent ball control for a center back very interesting 96 slide tackle and 88 stand tackle very nice it's a diop got up to an 84 we take a look at that six for four one of the taller center backs that you can buy right here strength and long passer interesting uh not though not one of our faster ones only 77 strength speed but 92 strength 92 jumping and 81 aggression uh, 83 ball control good i don't know why he's a long passer trait he's only 67 good marking okay short passing and then 86 in slide tackle 82 in stand tackle all right and then we have Malang Sar he got up to an 83 overall uh as you can see pretty good ball control heading accuracy and then mid 80s for slide tackle and stand tackle pretty pacey as well pretty strong as well you know just a rather well-rounded player six foot tall play a little bit at left back four star weak foot can come in handy all right, final center back that we're looking at is Delict from Ajax. He got up to an 84. He's six foot two, four star weak foot, aerial threat, strength, power header, and he's got 92 jumping, 81 sprint speed, 89 strength. And if you take a look down here, it's also pretty good offensively. Good ball control, uh, good short passing, good shot power. Um, slide tackles at 89, very nice, but his stand tackle is only at 80. Our first residiums we're going to look at is in Dombele. Uh, got up to an 81 take a look at his stats pretty decent you know uh, pretty well rounded good strength and we take a look at it yeah it's okay you know mediocre in the long passing good short passing but look at those defensive stats though very very nice uh he's 511 oh cdm that i told you guys to look at is tomato got up to a 79 he's got the strength and he's six foot three uh, very very tall pretty darn good 87 in the stand tackle let's take a look at his strength and 93 strength he's not the fastest he's only 73 to start was the star of the uh, cdms and he did not disappoint got up to an 87 let's take a look at his stats very nice passing very nice defense wow 94 in the stand tackle also 95 stamina 94 strength uh, good jumping good aggression good interceptions got the strength trait and he's six foot one very very tall yeah he's a complete package Finishing a close second was Diawara, got up to an 86, and he's got 9-3 short passing, pretty good long passing, let's look at his defensive stats right there, uh, mid-80s for slide tackle and stand tackle, but this is where he got him beat, 98 stamina, 83 strength, okay sprint speed, good reactions, and good vision and aggression, he's got the playmaker speciality, and he's 6 foot tall. Looking at the centerman position, and is the La Masea product, Elena, who got up to an 84 can also play at the cam and the right mid position three star three star technical dribbler 
Uh, there's not anything to really shake a stick at at the mental and physical stats right here, but when you look at the skill stats, 94 ball control, 97 dribbling, excellent finishing, 84, great long passing, great long shots, great short passing, and Yanko got up to an 85 distance shooter clinical, and this is what you want to take a look at. You want a center mid with 91 sprint speed and 87 stamina, this is your man. He's Got pretty good positioning and vision as well. And we look at the skill attributes, good ball control, a 91 freaking finishing from your center mid, 96 long shots, good short, uh, shot power, good short pass. And if we take a look, even his stand tackles at 80. Wow. All right, Fofana, the guy that I touted as the mini Pogba, got up to an 85, six foot tall, three star, three star, high, high work rates. He's got engine, clinical finisher, and long shot taker. Sounds pretty Pogba S to me. 78 sprint speed, 91 stamina, and 82 strength with pretty good mental and physical stats all the way around. 85 vision as well. Good ball control dribbling, 86 finishing, 91 long passing, 88 long shots, and 84 uh, short pass. He's even got decent stand tackle at 83. And the highest rated player <laughs> to come out of this bunch is 90 rated Yuri Telemans. And just take a look at these fantastic sets. Five star weak foot, three star skill moves, can play cam or center mid, only five foot nine, but he's got playmaker, distance shooter, clinical finisher, complete midfielder, long passer, and long shot taker. Not very fast at all. Only uh, 55 in the sprint speed, but he's got excellent stamina and decent strength, good reactions and vision, uh, you know, 90 vision to go ahead and play along with that. And then look at the dark greens and the skill attributes. That is mad. It's 92 finishing, amazing ball control and dribbling and everything. And then 96 long shots, 89 shot power, and 93 short pass. He's got decent stand tackle at 81, decent volleys as well. Yeah, he is a specialized weapon, but a very, very interesting weapon. All right, and at the camp position, we're going to first look at Rog. 5'11", uh, 3-star, three 3-star, three can play a bit of cam, playmaker. Pretty decent sprint speed, okay stamina, vision, acceleration, good ball control, dribbling, mat in the finishing, but good long passing, long shots, and good short passing. Next up is Fornals. He's got up to an 86. He's 5'10", and this is the guy who... Pretty much play any position in the midfield. Only three star weak foot, two star skill moves. Only has the acrobat trait. Uh, as you can see right here, he's okay in the mental and physical stats. Decent vision. Very high agility though. 92 uh, agility that I think uh, is that is something to poke a stick at. Good ball control, dribbling, finishing, long passing, long shots, short passing. And let's take a look at, yeah, he's pretty good at slide tackle and stand tackle as well. And last but not least, he was a darling last season. He's a darling this season. 87 rated Kovalenko. Bringing home son. Six foot tall, so he's nice and big. Four star weak foot cam. High, high work rate. Speedster, engine, acrobat. Ooh, look at that. 93 spin speed, 90 stamina, 72 strength, uh, 94 acceleration, 90 agility, 81 attack positioning. Excellent ball control. Curve, finishing, free kick, long passing, long shots, short passing. Even shot power is decent. Yep. Yeah, this is the best cam you could get this year again. We're we'll rounded out with the right mids. First up is the Spurs man. Edwards got up to an 85 foot nine, four star skill moves, dribbler, technical dribbler, and flare trait. Um, not the fastest guy, only 81 sprint speed, but good uh, acceleration, agility, and balance. He was one of the lower rated and one of the cheaper rated guys, so I think he probably needs like a season or two more to reach his full potential. Next up is Kai Havertz, who got up to an 85. As you can see, he's six foot one, four star skill moves, can play at cam or center forward. Also, uh, is left footed, good thing to note. Uh, 82 sprint speed, as I said, he, he's not gonna be the fastest kid out there. Um, but if you take a look at his skill attributes though, 90s in ball control, almost 90 in dribbling, decent finishing, 93 long passing, and 87 in the short passing. Very, very nice. But I don't know. The stats that, that really are worth it, I don't know if he's actually kind of worth the investment now that I take a look at him. Justin Clivert over here got up to an 84. He's five foot seven, four star, four star, high medium work rates, right footed. Speedster, dribbler, acrobat, flare traits, 99 sprint speed, 93 acceleration, 99 agility. Yeah, he's got a little bit of Neymar in him. 90 plus in dribbling and ball control. Uh, very, very nice in the long shots as well as the short passing. Uh, Christian Pulisic got up to an 89. As you can see, can play any position uh, in the wings. Four star, four star, medium, medium work rates, five foot eight from United States. Let's go over speedster, dribbler, acrobat, technical dribbler, backs into player trait. And then if we take a look at his mental and physical stats, this is outrageous. 99 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, 
and learns 90s and agility, balance, and jumping, and still decent in reactions and vision. Let's go over to his skill attributes. 89 ball control, 99 dribbling, 96 finishing, 89 short passing, and decent shot power to go ahead and boot that. Ugh! And that is a long ass video. I apologize for this clunky UI and stuff, but hopefully uh, I provided you a very ample list of the best young players that you can go ahead and grab in this year's FIFA career mode. If you did enjoy, it took a lot of work, go ahead, smush your nipples in the like button right now. Speaking of tips, uh, go ahead and click over here, Dingsy Poos, and that will bring you to a glitch that I have found that you pretty much take any player, young player in the game and put them all the way up to 90 potential. And anyway, that is it for me, Beyond Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember to stay yourself, stay humble, and remember, every single day, the Fat Asian Nation, it grows fatter.